Right, in this season, we got to be moving different. we got to be moving different. Do you know why? Because if we move the same way as we were moving before, the same things are going to start to happen. You're going to start to see the same things reoccurring like in your life, bro, if you start to be the same person that you was before. That's what I mean. You've got to start switching up with these people out here. Stop giving them second chances, third chances. Bro, I just give... Most people don't even have one chance with me. Most people already lost their chances with me. Literally, but... That's what you got to do with um, people, chosen ones. Stop giving people chances. I'm telling you, once they do you wrong once, get rid of them. Don't even tell them that you're getting rid of them. Do it silently. Do it silently to the point where they won't even know what's going on. And you see, silence is the best way to really get to people because when you give people silence they don't know why you got rid of them and they have to think about what they've done literally let people think about what they have done to you bro because these people think they can put their mouth on anyone think they can get anywhere anywhere with it as well like the thing is they won't put your mouth they won't put their mouth on you in front of your face they'll do it behind your back like a little wussy that's what most of these people do out here they talk behind your back and they won't do it to your face because Literally, they're cowards, bro. I'm telling you, these Decepticons and these low energetic people, they're cowards, bro. They have to be in groups to form up against chosen ones. Most time, these people won't be able to do it on their own. They can't go against us on their own. They have to get like a whole batch of them. And that's what I mean, bro. Misery loves company. Misery loves company. So, I'm telling you, expect miserable people to be with miserable people and to always go along with miserable people. That's what I realised, like, why are people going against me? Like, why should I always thought to myself, like, why are these people going against me for no reason? Like, they're ganging up on me, like, in the groups and shit, bro. It's because misery loves company, bro. And that's what I had to realise, like, I remember, I remember, like, people that I had in my life, bro, that were miserable, bro. But I didn't know they were miserable like that, because I didn't know no better. But I remember this guy, this guy brought around someone that I didn't even like, bro. You know what I mean? Like, this guy brought someone around that I didn't even like, bro. Like... And I just looked at him and I gave him that look, bro, like, you really brought this guy around. I think he knew as well, like, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Misery loves company. Misery loves company. So don't literally get rid of people in an instance if you don't feel something's right. Or if you feel... I'm telling you, if you get any answer from God telling you what they've done or there's anything in general that you don't feel right, bro, I'm telling you, just get rid of them, bro. No more talking, no more nice guy out here. Fuck off me. And yeah, um Yeah bro, we've we gotta start moving different in this season. We got bigger plans, we gotta to get to the promised land. And we just gotta give God all our praises, bro, because if it weren't for him, where would we be? We'll still be in these be in the same pit stuck with all these Decepticons trying to go against us. And you know what I realise like It's funny because now, now that I'm at the, now that the, that I've been brought to the top, these people want to try to come back. They, not like try to come back in my life like that, but they want to try to come back slowly, like being nice with me, giving me better attitudes. Fuck off, me! Literally, keep that attitude to yourself, bro. Because where was that same attitude before? You know what I mean? So yeah, these people have to learn the hard way from me, and I don't want these people back, bro. Literally, if you watch this video. I don't want you back, literally, stay away from me, you know what I mean? Because people just want to come around me just because they can see what I can benefit off them, how much they can benefit off me, how much I can do for them, and how people can just use you, bro. Literally, it's not happening, so get lost. And yeah, bro. And I'm going to start switching up my attitude, bro, and people. I don't give two fucks, bro, literally. I don't care if you don't like me, if I ain't a nice guy, or anything, bro. Let's see, I need to start switching up on people, bro, because people want people to do it to me. I'm going to do the exact same thing to you, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to treat you the same way. And it's funny because these people don't like it when you treat them the same way. But it's funny how th these people formed up against a group against us chosen ones, but wanted to go against us. But now that we're going, now that our value is on display and they're like, oh, I want to get back in this guy's life. They can't. Because there's already a blockage, bro. There's a blockage and there's a fine line, bro, between both of us. Between the spiritual and the physical. You got to understand, bro. These, these people in the physical want to be like us, bro. They want to be like us. That's what I mean. 
they want to be like us but they can't because they're not blessed like, like blessed like us bro and the reason they can't be like us because they're just negative bro literally they're negative and that's how to realize bro like the people that I thought that are positive and that, that were good for me bro these people are never good to me bro they're always this negative evil spirit evil spirit and they'll be the most religious people as well that will be the most negative bro like the people that go to church and shit bro there's still negative evil spirits inside them this i don't understand bro like you get you do all these prayers put them in putting all this hard work trying to serve the lord but you're still gossiping behind people's backs chatting shit and thinking you're getting away with it bro literally us chosen ones we don't gossip behind people's backs bro we might just do something minor like if something happens in front of our face then we'll be like oh that was kind of crazy like that why why is that person doing that for literally other than that bro we don't go we don't gossip behind people's backs bro because if we have something to say we'll just say it to your face bro because what's the point of speaking behind someone's back literally and that's what i mean about these people i don't know why they even do it bro like they, they speak behind your back like for what reason for what reason you know what i mean giving all giving me all this energy talking bad about me you don't understand but every time you talk bad about me you're just giving me your energy anyway and sometimes like when you give me too much energy i'll pick up on this like spiritually bro like you might not know this but i'll pick up on this spiritually like if you keep constantly talking about me with your name in your mouth sometimes i actually pick up on it in my mind and i can sense like who's talking about me bro so you need to watch your words bro i'm telling you like you you might think you're getting away with some things bro nothing nothing goes unseen bro as i said i might not know what you have said but the lord is always watching out for me and he knows what you have said bro and that's why That's why you're just in the position where you are, bro, literally. And. Yeah. And yeah, bro, literally. But. Chosen ones, we have to stay out of the way this year. Stay out of the way. I'm telling you, bro, don't. Be trying to please others and go out your way and going out and going meeting all these low vibrational people stay away i'm telling you once you know you're chosen you know you're calling and you know who you are you have to stay away from these people because i'm telling you these people they might not do it in your face bro but behind closed doors these people are envious they're jealous of the success that we have that the lord has gave us and they want as i said bro they want they want the same blessings as us but they can't because they can't live the lifestyle and yeah Like, it's crazy it's crazy how people work out here but it's crazy how they work like and it's crazy because these people will put their mouth on me they'll put their mouth on me but not knowing the consequences of actually putting their mouth on me but now these people know putting their mouth on me ain't a good idea because it ain't gonna work out for you in any way bro literally these people know now know better and now because they know better they want to try to come back listen mate stay back there because i don't want you mate you know like that and you as i said bro you can say whatever you want about me oh this guy oh he just hates us or oh he's anti-social or i don't fucking know what you'll come up with literally you could come up with a million things in your head but you know deep down what you have done to me bro and i don't need to say i don't as i said bro you know deep down what you have done to me and you can live with that for the rest of your life, bro, because you thought I was so nice before. Bro, I'm going to show people how nice um, I won't be to people, literally. I'm going to give people a taste of their own medicine, and this time, it ain't going to be temporary, bro. It's going to be permanent, because, as I said, bro, you can't, I'm telling you, chosen ones, don't trust people out here. People out here are evil. They're evil. they got evil spirit, and they got evil plots and plans against us, because we're chosen bro i'm telling you like people might not tell you that you're chosen they always dismiss it try um downplay your value bro it's because they're decepticons bro and you can't i'm telling you don't trust these people bro because they'll say one thing to your face and go behind your back and go do another thing bro i'm telling you that's why chosen ones you have to focus on your vision make sure you have a vision i want make sure you have a vision or you're just doing something to get to the bag, bro. Literally, do something to get to the bag, bro. I want to, I want to see you doing shit to get to the bag. Like, I don't know, get a better job. Um, fucking, 
I don't know, bro. They start doing something just to get to the bag. We gotta get to the bag. No more, no more long conversations. Giving out our energy to all these people that don't need it. Start putting that energy into your vision, and you're you're making money, bro. And that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully, I can teach a lot of people out there to do the same thing because. I'm not the only chosen one that's going through this out there. There's plenty of others. And hopefully I can help someone out there. But yeah. Put in that work, bro. Put in the work. Put in the work. It'll pay off. Because proving people wrong is the best, bro. Literally, I proved so many, so much people wrong. To the point where they don't even know what to do, bro. Literally, they're just stunned and shocked at what I've done, bro. Because they thought less of me. Because how nice I was treating them, bro. But now they ain't treating them nice no more. And I've... Just focusing on my success now they're just in that pit that they just left me in bro and they want to come back but it's not gonna happen because i don't want you back and yeah stop giving your respect out to everyone that's what i realized stop giving your respect out to everyone because most time these people won't even respect the respect that you're giving them so give them nothing bro give them nothing literally give these people one word bro that's what i'm gonna start doing bro i'm gonna start giving people one word and that's it and just go about my day and if you don't like it then i don't care bro because i didn't like a lot of things before but i still had to go through it so you're gonna have to do the same thing and yeah and this is all this seam retention this seam retention confidence that i'm coming on the camera with is crazy because all this aggression i got inside of me is just coming out on the camera bro you know what i mean all this aggression bro and that's why I might sound kind of like standoffish, bro. It's because I've got a lot of aggression in me, bro. But yeah. This year, bigger things for everyone. I'm telling you, bigger things for all chosen ones. Stay, get you, get on, start praying, bro. Start praying. Get on your bendy knees. Pray out to the Lord that you're going to do better. Ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and protection every day. Make sure you speak something out to the universe because... Remember, he's always listening and always watching out for you, bro. And imagine if you're giving him the praises while you're doing your vision as well. What? What? If you're giving him the praises and you're doing yourself right, bro, he's going to do you right even double, bro. That's going to be even double blessings, bro. You know what I mean? So you might as well do both, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, like... Yeah, bro. Can't lie. Can't lie, bro. It's like, it's crazy. It's like, I'm telling you, if you knew how much people were going against you, you'd be like, I'm telling you, bro. It feels like, at one point in my journey, I felt like everyone was against you, bro. My family, people outside. I'm telling you, bro. I felt like everyone was against you, bro. I'm telling you. That's what I mean. Us chosen ones go through a lot. Us chosen ones go through a lot. And these people don't know what we go through, like these Decepticons, bro, because they're just always. Because they're living in the physical, you gotta understand they're living in the 3D, the matrix, and they don't know nothing, bro. They just why do you think it's hard so hard for us chosen ones? Because these people are evil, bro. That's what I realized. Bro, all of these people out here in the matrix are evil. They, I don't know, they do shit behind your back, everything, gossip, talk shit, and then come around your face, like to put a smile on, or just act like they haven't said nothing, but behind your back the whole time they've just been slandering you and just chatting shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro, if you heard like most of the conversations people are saying about you. You'll be shocked, bro. That's why you can't be trusting people out here. I'm telling you, now I know how these people maneuver out here. I'm going to maneuver around these people now. And as I said, bro, these people already don't like me, bro. I don't care, bro. Literally, they can be low-key as they want with it. I know they don't like me, but that ain't going to stop me from serving my purpose. And as I, as I said, bro, let the hate make you great because the more hate you get, the greater you are. And yeah, literally you got to embrace the hate, bro. But yeah, bro, it's hard, bro. It's been hard. It's not been easy, man. It's been hard because the odds are against us, bro. Literally, there's not many chosen people, especially in the UK, bro. I love to see more chosen ones in the UK. Literally, I don't see many chosen ones in the UK. Maybe like other countries. Like America or some shit But UK wise I think I'm like Probably like the first one Dropping like videos out here bro Come on man You got Other chosen ones Gotta be dropping Other shit bro Like make, Drop your experiences bro Like You can teach someone else Out there Something Something new bro You could probably teach me Something new That I never knew bro You know what I mean But yeah um, This season We have to move different 
as I said, we gotta get to the promised land, man. And the only way we can do that is by focusing focusing on ourselves. And this is why seeing retention will help you out a lot. You chosen ones, bro. Practice seeing retention. Bro, you'll be laser focused, bro. But yeah. As I said, bro, leave these people to the wayside because they thought you're gonna be stuck in that same ditch that they left you in. And now that it's been overwritten, leave these people in that same place because they wanna come try come back, come wreak benefits and try to be cool with us, but the whole time they're slandering us, bro. As I said, bro, eat shit and keep them same words that you said about me, bro. You know what I mean? Keep all them same words, bro. As I said, I might not know what you said. Literally, the devil's fucking up my recording, bro. As I said, I might not know what you said, and you might try to be undisguised about it, try to be low key, but as I said, the Almighty High knows what you said, and I can just get the vibe from you already. You don't have to say one word to me, but I can just get a vibe from you, and if I don't like the vibe, but I'm getting rid of you. End of. And yeah. But chosen ones, stay tuned. More videos to come. I'm out man, peace.